We think of Martin Luther as a great reformer, Bible translator, political leader, fiery preacher, and theologian. But he was also a musician, having been born in an area of Germany known for its music. There in this little Thuringian village, young Martin grew up listening to his mother sing. He himself joined a boys' choir that sang at weddings and funerals. He became proficient with the flute, and his volcanic emotions often erupted in song. When the Protestant Reformation began, Luther determined to restore worship to the German church. He worked with skilled musicians to create new music for Christians to be sung in their vernacular. He helped revive congregational singing and wrote a number of hymns. He would often employ borrowed popular secular melodies for his hymns, though the tunes would occasionally elicit criticism so that at times he was compelled to let the devil have it back again because it was too closely associated with bars and taverns. In the foreword of a book, Luther once wrote, next to the word of God, the noble art of music is the greatest treasure in the world. It controls our thoughts, minds, hearts, and spirits. A person who does not regard music as a marvelous creation of God does not deserve to be called a human being. He should be permitted to hear nothing but the braying of asses and the grunting of hogs. Luther's most famous hymn is In Festberg and Unser Gut, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. Based on Psalm 46, it reflects Luther's awareness of our intense struggle with Satan. In difficulty and danger, Luther would often resort to this song, saying to his associate, Come, Philip, let us sing the 46th Psalm. This is a difficult hymn to translate because the original German is so vivid. There are at least 80 English versions. The most popular in America was done by Frederick Henry Hodge, but I like an older version that appeared in the Pennsylvania Lutheran Church Book of 1868. A mighty fortress is our God, a trusty shield and weapon. He helps us free from every need that hath us now or taken. Take some time to read Psalm 46 and see if it brings music to your heart as you consider your mighty fortress.